Am I the only one who thought that these were pre-release kits? Hopefully not. But nonetheless, these little booster bundle boxes, they're cool, they're neat. They look like pre-release kits as far as I can tell, but they're not. One, two, three, four, five, six packs, slightly crimped tops, which gives me a little bit of a worry that the cards may or may not be bent. And that's hopefully not the case when it comes to this set because we are just getting started with our Lost Origin openings. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jan Hella. I open up Pokemon cards. I like to accentuate stuff that enhance my childhood, such as Pokemon cards, Transformers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if that interests you, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Toolbox. Another card. Worth playing? Let's find out. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of Pokemon tool cards you find there and put them into your hand. Shuffle other cards back into your deck. That's actually not a bad card. Very playable. I see the viability in that card. Hopefully you do too. And with the Pokemon new new season of regionals and tournaments coming out, stuff like this is helpful. Getting more code cards. I don't know if they're all doing it all remote or in person still. I'm not 100% sure. I should probably look it up before I start talking about it. I'll do research. Ducklets. Plastic. Toy. Oh! We got ourselves a Pidgeot V, a very underrated Pokemon, one of the very first flying Pokemon you could ever get in the game. I always chose him over Firo, but look at how gorgeous this Pidgeot V looks. Full art, we have a Vanishing Wings Pidgeot V. You know what else it deserves? An actual figurine. I would actually enjoy having a fully articulated figurine of Pidgeot. I have done a little tiny reel of that Rayquaza toy, which is actually pretty sick. It's impressive to see what's coming out with Pokemon toys nowadays. When I was younger, going to different, ooh, look how crazy this little looky licky looks with his tongue swirling all out. I wish it was similar to the way that these cards are spilling off the, the frame. It would be kind of neat if the tongue was coming off the frame a little bit. I think that would really enhance uh, the experience of looking at that art. The toys were like more model kits and I would put them together and the articulation was atrocious and they couldn't really do anything. I don't think there's any articulation besides the one that had a little wind up mechanism inside, but I still love them. Obama Snow, I wonder if they're worth any money now. Probably not, just like this Hoopa handing off his gin. I'm not a gin kind of guy. I like my whiskey, neat. Third pack in for Lost Origin. This set is something I am looking forward to because of Dark Phantasma. I had a lot of fun opening one of those booster boxes. I wish I had bought more and I do plan on opening more, even if I don't open them on camera, which is kind of weird. I mean, they don't really provide value because there's no real code cards for you guys, but I would love to open more of that set because I just like the way the Japanese cards look. I've definitely gone towards the Japanese card collecting side again. Used to collect it when I was younger. My aunt used to live in Japan, for those who don't know, and she would bring over a bunch of Pokemon cards from Japan to me. So I'm gonna link a video up here for one of those box sets, which is very rare. It's one of the ones I've had since I was a kid and it's still, for the most part, really good condition. So watch that video up here because it is awesome. Pikachu, love this card. Very cute Pikachu card. Jinx, Poliwag, Tadpoles, and Egg, Things, Crescent, Moon, Bird, Duck. Hate's a strong word when it comes to Cresselia. I have a distaste for that Pokemon. Never really cared for it. I don't think the shiny's that cool in Pokemon Go, but it's a Pokemon nonetheless. But hey, if that's your favorite Pokemon, comment down below. For me, it absolutely is not. It's probably one of the lackluster Pokemon cards. I would even care to raid for it in Pokemon Go. I don't even think I cared to catch it in the Pokemon game, so. Colrex experiment. We're experimenting with a Sudowoodo thrusting its lower abdomen in our direction. Love Disc. Gligar. Looks like he's kind of pushing aside the mountain, even though that's not the case. Murple. Ooh, little clover in his mouth, chomping away. Parasect, giving off some of his fumes, its aromas, its toxins. There's not too many Pokemon I hate overall, but comfy, it's kind of useless. I think I was trying to catch it in the Pokemon game Snap, Pokemon Snap from the Nintendo Switch, and I was streaming that uh, a while ago. I think I streamed it, I don't remember. It was a fun game to play. Seeing the giant Tangrowth was a little spooky. Gift energy, giving gifts, the gift of giving us more Pokemon cards. I've given you guys more videos to watch. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Help us grow. Help us get that growth for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone wants to keep blaming. Oh my God, we got a Crobat V. This is fantastic. This is one of the ones that's a little bit more rare when it comes to these character rares. As you can tell by the black border. Forget the name of that trainer, but Crobat V, Dark Asset. I would actually love a playset of these, even though I don't play the card game at the moment. 
this would actually be pretty fun playing with some of these character rares. But I am absolutely juiced to actually get this card because we are hunting down the character rare cards from this set. My champ. My bad. It's a hollow. I don't care for it. This is the winner of the pack. Last pack of this box. And let me know what you guys are collecting Pokemon cards for in the comments down below. Right now, when it comes to Pokemon cards, I'm more so going after all of the character rares because I didn't get all of them from Cosmic Eclipse with me. So I'm trying to get more of them, which I think is super fun. I'm actually having a lot of fun opening these cards again from Pokemon, having taken such a time off. I'm really excited to get back to home hunting down those Pokemon cards. We had a little redactive statement right there. Porygon Z, 2, Z, Delphox V, V, Z, A, B, C, D, Eerie Glow, 1, 2, 3. That's a good looking card. Knife. This is a knife. And one thing I hope to be getting better at is giving you guys more videos in decent fashion because ugh, I hate that sound of the wrapper, the wrapper, the wrapper. I would like to get more videos out on a regular cadence. If, if you guys would leave a comment down below, let me know how often you guys want to see Pokemon card videos. Do you guys want to see them once a week, twice a week? Do you want to see them in a live stream? I would love to provide that value, that content, either way, whatever you guys choose. I would love to do more of it, and that is something I do have fun doing. So if you guys let me know what you guys want to see and consume, we'll make it happen. Shuppets, look at his tongue. Real big. Not as big as that Licky Licky, though. Growlithe. Ducklet. It's kind of wet. Tripping. Machoke. As I said in the Dark Phantasma video, right there, uh, and the rare. Oh, we got the Full Art Miss Fortune Sisters. Never knew their name up until the last video of opening up this set, Lost Origin, but here we have them. Not looking as spooky with that Gengar secret rare. I don't think it's a secret rare, but that character rare card of the Gengar. We have them in the background. Now we have them singular with no Pokemon. I like it. That's a solid pack from the second box of Booster Bundles from Lost Origin. Do you guys buy these? I don't really remember the price. I don't know if they're really worth it. I will put the price up on the screen right now. Let me know if you guys are buying these individual packs, three pack blisters or booster boxes or elite trainer boxes. All I know is I will absolutely take more sets from Pokemon, more different kind of boxes. The tins, eh, they're kind of cool, kind of not really. don't want really to give too much of a damn about them. Meditite eating some berries. But this, so far, it's getting random three packs, kind of kind of nice to get them loose without the actual cardboard blister. You feel like you're getting some some solid random packs, especially ones from booster boxes that you usually get from local card shops. Those are a little awkward because you kind of have an idea of finite amounts of rares, secret rares, ultra rares when it comes to booster boxes. So getting stuff like this where it feels kind of just nicely random, I'm okay with it. Literally, literally, literally. Bew. Don't really care for these cars. Nice little texture just about on the uh, the front of it. But these little black and gold ultra rare, secret rares, whatever rares. Eh. Rare. Eh. Wouldn't mind getting this Gardevoir. I think this is a Radiant card. I don't know if they have that as a... <gasps> Pardon me. V. V star. So I would love to see more of those coming soon in a pack to me. Hopefully. Uh, rhymes. I'm not a rapper. Nuzleaf. I'm trying to play Nuzlocke. That is such a crazy format to me. Never played it. It is kind of interesting. A lot of spiders, a lot of bugs back to back. If you want to see that in the stream and see me struggle. I don't know if I want to do that. Jinx, Reverse Hollow, and the rare. Porygon Z. You guys remember LimeWire? For better or for worse, let me just tell you, I'm old. Feeling old. Feel it when it comes to opening these packs and how my fingers aren't ripping these packs as smoothly as I would like. Speaking of packs, we have a few more to open for you guys the end of this video to so stick around lost vacuum i'm kind of liking that loving those dust busters love actually playing with those as a kid especially opening them up the little uh cavern with all the dust and the muck spooned it out into a garbage can it was kind of fun make cleaning fun again love disc dust talks 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 magirna looking super sad looking like he wants to go out into the wilderness but you're a robot you're not allowed to because of all the elements outside she's not so well oiled that Magirna. I actually would love to actually have a you know those new little Roblox Roblox Mega Blocks Roblox. I've been meeting a lot of people who work at Roblox lately, so kind of funny. Either way, those little Mega Blocks Pokemon sets, it would actually be pretty sick to get a Magirna one. And I actually do kind of want to put some of those together. They actually look very fun, and I want to add some of them as a nice little backdrop part of the collection. A little too much. Torkoal. Torque, torque. Oh, oh. 
Porygon Z, once again, disappointing us. But it's not as much of a disappointment as whatever this crazy looking new elemental genie Pokemon is. I don't really care for it. It's kind of gross looking. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm too much of an old head. Too much of a boomer. Too much of an older person liking Pokemon cards and liking what I like and not liking the new stuff. They're just, it doesn't really do anything for me. Like, it's kind of reminds me of nothing. And that's, I think, one of the things about Pokemon that's getting kind of aloof. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We got the Radiant Gardevoir that I was talking about earlier in this video. We pulled it, ladies and gentlemen. And looking at how the cross hatching, this one is a little more dominant. The one that I got from our last video with the Lee Trainer box, we pulled the Sneasler, and the cross hatching wasn't that distinctful. Maybe it was because of Dark type Pokemon and the black backdrop kind of ruined it, but here we actually see a little more in the lighting. I'm elated. And our rare. Why would this thing have all the schmeck? This card is the highlight. Don't forget to share this video with some friends, ladies and gentlemen, as we need to grow the community. That sound of the plastic. I don't think I like these boxes anymore because they do keep the packs really compressed and the, the sound of that plastic wrap just rubbing against itself. I'm not a fan of that. It's really hurting my ears, but don't forget to share this video with your friends, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family. We're trying to build a community, trying to build up some confidence coming back onto the platform, ladies and gentlemen. And we get more people commenting, liking, subscribing, and being a part of this, the more likelihood of me making more videos on a constant, regular basis Especially if Pokemon does not make any more Pokemon Go sets, because I don't really care for it. Hey, Murkrow would we'll love to buy that as a little figurine. Amber Palm. The star threw me off. I thought it looked Amber Palm. The rare. Hey! We got Ned. I can. Now, to see the other Radiant Pokemon in the set. I kind of forgot who else is in there. We got the Sneezer. Uh, we got the, the Gardevoir. What other little Radiant... Cards are in there in this set. I don't know. Hopefully they reveal themselves in due time. Dotler would love to sit on you. See if it would make a little squishing sound as soon as you compress its background. The back? What am I looking at? Oh, it's a Viper. What? So Mikazu, you are outdoing yourself with the craziness of your art because I couldn't tell what I was looking at. I can't even tell you what this may or may not have been in my eyes at a glance. Inkay. I can tell what that is. Vaseline. Jinx. Makuhita. Bronzor, Radiant Gardevoir once again. We just pulled it, but we will gladly take it because it is an absolutely stunning Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon nonetheless. And if you have yet to notice, all of the Radiant Pokemon cards in the Pokemon TCG have been shiny Pokemon. Factoid number one. I'm hoping for something better. But what's necessarily better? I don't really know. All I know is with you guys being a part of this channel, part of this growth, that makes everything better inherently just because you're a part of it. You're here with us on this channel, so don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you guys want to see more of from this channel. We have a lot to do, a lot ahead of us. Damaging pump, damaging my spirits when you guys don't really help us grow, contributing to the conversation. If you guys want to see a live stream to have actual conversations together, we'll do it. Binnacle, binnacle, love in the background. There's a little peer wondering why, is that a sluggu? No, it's a wave. <laughs> Ariados. Crazy looking card. Who is this artist? Shinji Kanda, you are coming strong. These packs aren't making me come at all. I wonder if that's why viewership is down. Lost Origin, losing me, losing the steam, losing out on hope, ladies and gentlemen, because we were hoping to see at least a Giratina. I wonder if there's any more than just a Giratina V Stars. Is there like a full art, crazy art, alternate art to look for? This is how much I have not been paying attention, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's out there. I don't know what's in this set. I need to be paying more attention. I haven't been, so if you guys need to let me know what to be looking out for. Looking out for this awesome Parasect character rare with, is that how? Who is that guy? No idea. We got someone in the background with this Parasect dropping its spores all over the place. We don't have this in English or Japanese, so I am elated by it. Solid pull. Pulling up a Gengar. Gengar looks like one of those Pokemons that look like you. If you can hug it, it'll just be a little cuddly. Kind of like how cuddly he is. And also like how cuddly Tater Tot is. And if you want to see how cuddly Tater Tot is, don't forget to follow him on Instagram. I don't really post too much, as much as I thought I would, because it's a lot. This card is super scraped up right there, but 
he's very cute, very adorable, very friendly. So if anyone ever comes across us in public, don't forget to say hi. Pet Tater Tot, he loves the attention, he loves the affection, and he's very affectionate and gives it back to you. So he loves the attention, guys. So don't forget to pay him a visit on Instagram. The Fairy, Reverse Hollow, and our rare Hisuian Gudra V. Looking very sad, very somber, wondering why it has a big old shell on its back instead of having a big greasy butt that it usually has. It's gooey. Last pack from Lost Origin from these booster bundles. And don't forget, at the end of every single video, ladies and gentlemen, we open up more packs. We open up some Vivid Voltage as I am still, after all these years, trying to hunt down the hyper rare Big Fat Pikachu. Luminion, having more fun, having those big old white ears, a wind up arm. That's what happens when you have pitcher's arm, a tennis elbow. Let me tell you, it sucks. Electric, Murkrow, didn't get that while playing tennis because I suck at tennis, but hey. We have the reverse hollow just in case. Gong. Dugong. Before we get to the Vivid Voltage Pack, we're also opening up Battle Region. I'm still trying to complete this set, hunting down, I think, the Cynthia card I don't have yet. I also think I'm missing a few of the other, just like, regular cards from the set. I'm not trying to go for a master set when it comes to these Japanese cards. I just want to get the general set completed. I definitely need a Cynthia with Garchomp. And I also think I still need some of the gym leaders or whatever characters that are in the sets. Silene. Per ugly. Right horn. Nice little Pokeball. Very sparkly. <laughs> Typhlosion. We don't need it, but we got it anyways. We need those character rares because the character rares from these new Pokemon card sets are just absolutely gorgeous. And for me, that's what I'm collecting. So let me know down in the comments down below. What are you guys collecting Pokemon cards for? And for me, previously, I was collecting more so for the playability for these cards. But because I'm not actively playing the card game, I am just collecting because of those character rares. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm not collecting for master sets or anything along those lines. Just going for the character rares. And yes, it would be easier just to buy them solo. But it's weird. I want to talk to you guys. Have a conversation. Shaman. Absolutely gorgeous card. Wouldn't that be a nice little springtime card? Springtime merch for Pokemon? Hey, Pokemon, make this into a playmat. That's gorgeous. Cleavor. Let's hope. Pikachu's right there on top of the cover of the foil. Hiding out. Now it's time to see you in your rainbow silver glory. And if you guys have yet to already do it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of from this channel. Let me know everything that I've been asking you guys throughout this whole video. Because we have plenty to do, plenty to catch up on, and plenty to make with you guys. And if you guys will stick around, we would love to have you. Nuzleaf, Memory Capsule, Veldom, Fanpy, hanging out with his little, his little teddy bear. A teddy bear would need, would be something cute for Tater Tot, don't have one of those. Zamazenta, this little guy, already got one, but we have not the Pikachu. The Colossal, Colossal Hunk. Until the next time, pop hard.